Hey, this is Jeff Rose from GoodFinancialSense.com. As a financial planner, I work with a lot of clients and we invest in the stock market, we invest in bonds, we invest in mutual funds, ETFs, all that good stuff. But ever so often, I'll get some people that want to invest into stock market alternatives, meaning that they're a little bit fed up with the ups and downs of the market, and who can blame them? So they're always asking me, hey Jeff, what are some other areas that we can invest into? So today I just wanted to share five stock market alternatives that you can invest your money into. And stick around for the fifth one because the fifth one might be a bit of a surprise to you. But number one, gold and silver coins. You've heard it. Everybody wants to buy gold, everyone wants to buy silver. The price of gold has escalated well over the last couple years. Now people, we gotta realize that gold is a risky investment and it fluctuates just like an individual stock. That being said, it is a stock market alternative. So if you have a fear of the stock market, then investing into gold coins might be a viable source for you. Another stock market alternative can be antiques. Now I'm going to use my stepdad as a prime example. He's invested into antique toys. These are the toys like from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And invest into just various paintings and other different types of art. Also another thing could be antique cars. So if you have a passion for things in the past, then investing your money into such things as antiques might be a good alternative for you. A third stock market alternative is one that I dabbled in, didn't have much success, hopefully you'll do better, is real estate. Now, if you've been to the blog, I have an awesome post that you need to check out if you really into, want to check out real estate investing. A buddy of mine named Eric Mormon, who is 29, maybe 30 years of age, is making a killing off real estate. And he's done everything from lease to buy, to foreclosures, to, to wholesale. He's done it all, and this post covers a lot of that. But obviously, real estate is a very, very awesome stock market alternative if you understand it. Now, something you just don't dive into. You want to do your research. You want to ask some people, ask some experts, you know, talk to some realtors to understand it before you start diving into it. But just like my buddy Eric, he spent a lot of time, a lot of research, and it has proven to be very, very valuable to him. A fourth stock market alternative that I'm partial to is peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now, if you're not familiar with peer-to-peer -peer lending, it's relatively new, but it's definitely gained a lot of traction in the last couple of years. Now, there's a few big players in the space, but the top two that you want to check out are Lending Club and Prosper. Now, I will tell you that I do have a Lending Club account and have done very well with it. I have not tested Prosper out yet. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But real quick, what is peer-to-peer -peer lending? So what peer-to-peer -peer lending is exactly kind of what it sounds. You are lending money to a peer and then you're getting paid an interest rate. So you're acting like a banker to a potential borrower. Makes things very interesting. The thing I like most about peer-to-peer -peer lending, especially through Lending Club, is that let's say that you invested $1,000 into Lending Club. Of that $1,000, only $25 would go to one individual borrower. So if that borrower defaults, you don't lose a whole lot of money. Think of it as like buying stock in a mutual fund. You know, if one of those stocks in that mutual fund go belly up, you still have 99 plus stocks in that mutual fund still making you money. Same thing with Lending Club. So that's why I like it. It is diversification. You're not putting all your loans into one basket. And I've done pretty well with it. Check out my blog posts. I was averaging between nine and a half, almost 10% return. And as of today, I'm still there. So definitely worth checking out as a stock market alternative. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the last stock market alternative might be a bit of a surprise to you, but think about it. The one thing that you can invest in is yourself. That's right, investing in yourself. So how do you do that? Well, you can invest into going back to school, getting an MBA, getting a PhD, maybe getting a degree that you never got, getting another degree. For me, what I've done is I've invested into designations, whether that be for me the CFP designation, Certified Financial Planner. Let's say you want to be a CPA, become a Certified Public Accountant. Maybe there's certain designations in your field that could give you potential raises or open new opportunities for you at your job. Other ways that you can invest in yourself is by hiring a coach. Maybe you can do a personal development coach. I'm currently doing a coach for entrepreneurs and I will tell you that the investment has been worth it tenfold. I've only been doing it for just over a year now, but the processes that I go through, the mindset that I'm in has completely rocked my world. And had I not invested that money into myself, I never would have realized the untapped potential that lies within me. 
So as you can tell, I'm very partial to coaching and I'm very partial to investing in yourself. So these are just a few of the stock market alternatives that you have at your disposal. If you want other tips like this, be sure to check me out the blog, goodfinancialsense.com. And if you're on Facebook, be sure to give us a thumbs up on the Good Financial Sense fan page. We'll see you soon.